Today is Saturday before Easter. And we're all dying Easter eggs. Careful. I'm not ready yet. The pressure's all. I'm not acting. Why did she put the eggs? I put them in the glass porch. Dining room table in the glass porch. Oh, man, that's difficult. What? Jay, which one are you working on? I'm working on my lime. Lime? I'm making me some lavender ones. Can, can I? Can I shake on that one? Make me a lavender one, please. This still comes out spotty, though. I don't know why. That yeah, one. Is this mine? Steph, what are you working on? Mom, I'm making lavender balls because every eggs because everybody needs lavender in their life. Okay. Picking rings. Very pretty. How about you see, you just dip it in slowly and then you pull it out. Can you see it? Yep. Watch what you do. Let's see it. Hold it back. Hold it back. We want some orange? No. Mama. Did you get your orange? I just want to get some orange. Step it back there. If there's an egg in it, I'll take it out. And then we're showing where to see it. It broke me. Mama, I'm going to eat it. Mama, I'm going to eat it. No, you're buying you dying eggs. We'll see you on TV later. Amanda, you have a little station going on over here? Yeah, I do. You know me. Me, 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 me. Mom, what you doing? I'm not dying. I'm gonna eat it. You're gonna eat them. <laughs> I was waiting for the casualties. <laughs> there was one that said. Hold that. me. Can I look? Can I look? Can I look? Can I look? <clears throat> See Jackie? Yes. Yeah. Green's orange. Yeah. Jason? Yeah. yeah. This one's going to be See, it says. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> you got blue all over the pink egg. Oh, I don't put blue on it. No, 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 Wait, Dad, you gotta put it back on the uh, weather channel. My boyfriend gave me that. <laughs> As Hurricane Lee steams closer to the Gulf Coast, the Weather Channel is in alert mode tonight, or highest stage of alert due to the dangerous situation. 
That's why I want to get right to our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. And Dr. Lyons, it's like you put a ladder. We came in on hurricane Thanks. Lily, what is it doing now? It's turning a little more toward the north, uh, northwest, and we expect that turn to continue on toward the north with time. Let's look at the latest information from the Hurricane Center as a 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time Advisory. We have new coordinates. 95 miles south of New Orleans, Louisiana. New coordinates. 145 yeah. miles per hour. 145 storm. miles per That's hour. That's a healthy category for Winds. the hurricane moving to the north. 27.2, 90.6. Pressure's 942 millibars. That's up a little bit from That's the girl that shook her butt in front of us. Isn't she nasty? It basically makes it uh, higher pressure around 10 p.m. anyway. So that Yeah, I'm telling you. There's some TVs that have like a black thing on the TV so that you can't. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you think this TV is going to do that? Huh? No, what, Dad? I, I think because like some TVs have a black thing across to where they won't let you record it. Circulation has been to the west northwest. All right. Well, we're having a Hurricane Lily, and it's going to be worse than Hurricane Audrey in 1957. Okay. Bye. I want to be on the movies. Welcome to the movies. <laughs> Stop wasting fail. You're going to need that. Okay. Let's know if you still are with power. I'm using this as a microphone. Okay, this is Hurricane Lily. Hasn't quite made it all the way to us yet. As you can see, we're getting wind and rain. A few branches on the ground. There's Jacques and Prince. Getting some high winds here. There's Doc and Prince, toughing it out. Jay, where are you? Oh, here! Yeah. You ate your microphone. <laughs> There's Snoopy. Trying to get Jason's corn dog. But he ate it all. It's gone. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going back inside. Maybe more later. Well, it's blowing even harder now. There's Doc and Prince still in the same old place. You'd think they'd go under their shelter over there, but.
up to 76 in the last 15, 20 minutes. Now, now how long? started coming over the road. Uh, about 20 minutes ago, they probably got a foot or two over the road and then ball was over the road right now. Now, how long have you have you been in the business, Mr. Quinn? Oh, we did this all our life. We've been on boat. You have uh, actually been through storms uh, before this, right? Yes, ma'am. We've uh, normally run a lot of on the boat. I'm on a gancho boys right now, but... Normally we ride about on a truck. Uh, to be a trapper. So how does how does uh, this compare? What you're feeling right now? What you're seeing right now? Uh, to past homes. Yeah, man. Uh, we're worried about our family. Uh, most of us are from Jefferson Parish over there in the Florida area. Sound like they are making out pretty good. I've been talking with my wife back and forth on the phone, and they're in uh, pretty good shape over there the way it sounds and the feet. Well, good. Well, we want you to keep safe, Mr. Clem Darter. We appreciate you uh, calling in. He was a... ...five in the morning. The system is weakening, yes, but there will be hurricane force winds over a good part of the viewing area at least for another four to six hours, and the winds are only going to increase Lafayette on northward for the rest of the morning hours. So if uh, people are thinking about venturing outdoors, oh, this is not too bad, please don't do that. We have reporters out there, and we'll do the reporting. Let us do the driving, as the Greyhound uh, bus drivers say. <laughs> I like it. Driving to us, we'll do the reporting on it. Absolutely. Now we're doing some spot checks around the Cadiana. Right now we're heading to St. Martinville with the mayor, right? That's right. Mayor Eric Morton joins us now by phone. We appreciate you taking the time out, Mayor. Uh, can you tell us what it looks like in your neck of the woods? Well, I'm not a wind expert, but it uh, looks like we're seeing 50 to 70 mile an hour winds. Uh, we're experiencing quite a few lines, electric lines down. Um, it forced us to shut the power off. So everyone is out of electricity in St. Martinville, and will be for quite some time. Our guys can't get out there and start fixing uh, the problem until the winds have subsided, and as you said, that could be uh, four, five, maybe six hours. Um, one, or are they trying to write it out at home? Uh, I would say maybe a third left, uh, and the rest stayed. Um, I guess we're lucky that it's not as strong as what uh, we thought it could have been, uh, we had uh, serious concerns yesterday uh, that if it would have hit as hard as uh, we thought it would, uh, we would have had some, some huge problems. Uh, we all kind of lived through Hurricane Andrew. I was the mayor three months when Hurricane Andrew came through. So we pretty much know what to do and when to do it. Uh, but during the storm, there's not much you can do. You just got to ride it out. Um, so it's important that people stay inside and uh, Maybe look out their windows and their doors, but not come outside, or, or worse yet. ...of you uh, as to the winds and the rain and the damage as of right now, as to this point of, of Hurricane Andrew's storm. Um, as of right now, um, I don't see anything that has come through that was as bad as Hurricane Andrew. Uh, but as Rob said, we're ju really just starting to see the winds uh, uh, give us problems during a storm of this magnitude. Uh, so we feel like we're more prepared. Uh, from a maintenance standpoint, uh, our guys are more experienced that uh, if we have 60 poles down in the next six hours, um, our guys can't handle all of that. We know how to handle having contract crews come in. Uh, Clico has offered to assist us uh, with their crews. Uh, so my guys know how to coordinate the new crews coming in who are not generally familiar with our system but can help us to get everyone back on quicker. We ask everyone to be very patient. It's not going to happen overnight. But I can't see nothing. You got the camera. Oh. Huh? It's pouring. Can you all see the rain? In the that tree is Look at this! Whoa! All right, let's go Come on! Throw a branch back at you. So I just Look at that tree! Look at that! Look how much that tree is. 
private and not just sitting there like he did. He was sitting there all ago, but now it's getting it's getting pretty bad. There's those two dumb dogs still out in the weather. I think they would go in the uh, pen there, get some shelter. Strong wind out of the northeast. Starting to get some water. Man, look at that tree. Ah, uh, the basketball goal! <laughs> Bye! They're sustaining in about 60, and they're gusting 
over 100. This is really, really boring. And, um, we're looking at the units right now on the, the Doppler uh, zero, probably 190. me so much. Oh gosh, look. Ah. broken open. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to be okay. We should have stayed home. No, we didn't bring you guys over here alone. I know.
though. It's I heard it. Is it okay that I'm recording this or no? Yeah. I think it may have blown behind the outdoor kitchen. Which I hope it did. The fence was catching. No, it was right. I don't know what the glass was. Was it in the garage? It came from back here. What is it? What was it? They have that separate carport oh, yeah, in front yeah. of the shaded. Tornado picked that up and brought it right there. Mark siding on the front, like right here. It's all blown off the side of the house. Did you check on your truck? No, I should have. I guess if Brandy can demand this poor, you wouldn't have to work. I'm going to go. It's not bad right now. Yeah, if you want to. Just come stand here and watch me. Show them you did the hair or something. Here's the ramp. What? Watch your shirt fly up.
garbage can. It's not your mama's, is it? Might be. I can't see. Ma'am. going too fast. Staping now? Yeah. <laughs> Thought he did. Y'all pull this little thing out right here. Oh yeah, down power lines. on my face. <laughs> Ever. 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 You from the North Shore? No. Can we pass? Okay. Look at that tree fell in that house, y'all. Where? It used um, to be an altar boy and branch. Got a zigzag. We got a branch on this tree. Oh, fit? Danny Mesh's house. A branch on this okay. house. <laughs>
Looks like they're gonna do it. Dead one going down. Thank <laughs> you. 
big and the place is on the floor, but I was going to go ahead and break that wall up now. Try to zoom in inside the attic. Too much to do. There's a doll with the clothes hanging and all the clothes in there.
whatever you say. Not at all. I'm going to shut it down now and I'm going to use the regular fan. 